And that's where I was headed when I graduated high school back in 1987, trade school in upstate New York called Bozies. And then an amazing thing happened, part of my who, part of my story, is this international musical group called Up With People came to my high school my senior year. I've never been on an airplane before. We didn't have a lot of money. My parents were teachers. I've never traveled. So to have an international musical group, Up With People, come to my high school. 150 young people, ages 18 to 25 years old. They're white, they're black, they're Jewish, they're Christian, they're Muslim, they're gay, they're straight, they're communist, they're capitalist, all people singing rock and roll music about building relationships, changing the world, making a difference. The show was absolutely inspiring. I'll never forget, after the show was over, this girl about 21 years old, she was from Sweden, she was gorgeous. She gets to the front of the stage and she says in her cute Swedish accent, if there's anyone in the audience between the ages of 18 and 25, want to take a year off your life and travel all over the world with up with people, live in host families, serve families, serve others, and build relationships with people that look and pray and believe different than you. Come to the front stage and talk to me after the show. Well, the show was over. I wanted nothing to do with traveling around the world up with people. I just wanted to meet the hot girl from Sweden. So I ran up to the front of the stage. I got in line. I started talking to her. What kind of GPA? What kind of SAT score? What does it take to get up with people? I'll never forget what she said. We're looking for young men and women that want to leave with their hearts, that want to change the world by building relationships with people. So I followed her backstage, I interviewed for Up With People, and I was accepted. And so instead of going to BOCES, I traveled all over the world at 17 years old Up With People. That one year turned to nine years to 83 countries and living over 3,000 host families all over the world. And 25 years later, I became the CEO of Up With People and led that organization for five years. So much of my message to you this morning, much of my message in my books about leading from the heart and the power of the who comes from the many years of working all over the world with Up With People.